Once you can find your course in Canvas, whether it's through the dashboard or by hitting the Courses Flyout menu, you need to select the course to enter it. So I'm going to click on Art 1200 Dev, and it will launch me into the class. Now I'm going to see this from the instructor's point of view, which should be very similar to the way that you see it as a student, but there will be a few key differences. For example, on the left hand side, you should only see four, maybe five tabs. You won't see all the other ones that are grayed out because we've disabled them for the class. When you log into Art 1200 for the first time, you will notice that there is a home page that has information on getting started in the course. Make sure that you're reading through all instructions in the course. Reading the instructions and watching videos like this are the best way to make sure that you feel comfortable with the class and that you understand all of the expectations within the course. Before we get started with the actual course, I want to talk about the tabs on the left hand side of the screen and what they will be used for. And so in our class we have what I'm going to call tabs and buttons. The vertical column on the left hand side, I'm going to refer to those as tabs. And so if I say click on the syllabus tab or the announcements tab or the chat tab, you should think left hand column of, of tabs. Then in the course I've also built in a horizontal row of buttons so that we have additional things to choose from. And so whenever I say a button, I'm referring to something that is running horizontally across the top of the screen. So I'd like to go through what each of these is for so that throughout the semester, if you need to access something or find information, you know the right place to go. So the tabs on the left hand side are the home tab, syllabus tab, announcements tab, chat tab, and there will also be a grades tab, but it will not activate until your first grade of the semester is posted. The home tab will always redirect you back to the home page in the course. And so if you're inside an activity and you're doing something and you feel maybe like you've gotten lost and you don't know where to go, always click the home tab and that's kind of your base and that's where you'll navigate the course from. The syllabus tab will redirect you to the syllabus and we'll talk about that in one of the additional videos. But the syllabus should be read through in detail. Uh, it is an agreement between your instructor and you as a student and you are held accountable to the things listed in the syllabus as well as the teacher. And so it's in your best interest to read through it in detail. And again, we'll talk about this in more detail in one of the other videos in this playlist. The announcements tab is how your teacher will communicate with your class as a whole. And so if I have to send a message to the entire class that's really important and I want everyone to see it, I'm gonna send it through the announcements tab. If you set up your communication preferences in Canvas so that you get emailed when announcements are sent, you'll be able to read announcements via this announcements tab, but also you should receive an email and whatever email you choose, uh, and it will be a copy of the message. When you first start the semester, there will be a handful of messages, and so I have six messages that you're going to get on the very first day of class or whatever day I publish the class, and I try to publish about a week before the semester starts. It's important to read through them in detail because this is the framework that's going to provide you with all the information you need to get started in the course. Above and beyond these announcements, I will send you at least one announcement a week that will explain what you should be working on um, throughout the week. And so our class is broken down into a series of modules and you'll have between one and two weeks to complete each module. And at the beginning of the week, I'll email you or I'll send you a message through the announcements tab and I'll explain that this week we're working on Module 6 and our objectives for Module 6 are X, Y, and Z and I would recommend breaking down the coursework by doing this on Monday and Tuesday and these things on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then finish up the project on Saturday, etc. In addition to my weekly announcement, I will always send an announcement that has the weekly office hours. I like to host online office hours for my online students but I like to change them from week to week so that I can offer morning, afternoon, and evening hours I know some people will work during the day and so they'll come to the nighttime office hours and some people will work at night so they might want to come to daytime hours. And so for that reason, every week my office hours will be different and I'll kind of rotate them. So you need to read the announcement every week that says what the office hours are going to be. The last two tabs that you'll see on the left hand column are the chat tab and the grades tab. And the grades tab will activate uh, as soon as uh, you get your first grade of the semester. The chat tab is used for two things in our course. Online office hours. So anytime I have a posted online office hour and I say that I will be logged in for office hours at 6 o'clock on Thursday, I'm going to log into the chat tab. And so you can log in and we can talk in real time. 
if we have to, if there's something that we just can't figure out via the chat, we can always launch the WebEx tab, which will allow us to share screens so I can show you how to do something or you can show me what you're doing in InDesign that's preventing you from finishing a project or something. Uh, the chat tab can also be a place for you to leave messages. So let's say that my next office hour isn't until Thursday at 6 o'clock, but you have a question and you don't want to send an email because it's not really time sensitive. You just have a random question you want answered. You can log into the chat at any time during the semester and you can leave your question. And then the next time that I or your instructor logs into the class, they'll see the message. You can also leave questions for other students. So if you just have a random question, you can post it in the chat tab. And if someone else in your class happens to log in and sees your question and they know the answer, they can provide the answer as well. The grades tab is important because it displays all of your grades for the entire semester. Whatever grade you see in the grades tab is accurate and it is the grade that you are currently receiving. So please check your grades frequently. I would like to preface that by saying that the grades tab only shows you the grade for the things that have been submitted. And so if we're halfway through the semester and it says that you have 100%, that doesn't mean you have 100% for the entire semester if you do nothing between the midterm or let's say halfway through the semester and the end of the semester, uh, you won't end up with 100%. Okay, I would like you to click through the tabs on the left-hand side of your course, explore them, make sure that you feel comfortable with them. And in the next video, we'll talk about the horizontal buttons that are on the homepage.